According to Magnus, I'm a UK high beast for this hat, but I just need a fresh trim, so I needed to uh, cover it. I'm getting my trim tomorrow, so please do excuse the beanie. Although I like it, so fuck you, Magnus, man. Let me be a hype beast for a second. Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Sanj, and today we have another episode of Monthly Favorites, this time featuring the month of February, where I'll round up everything that I bought, music that I've been listening to, movies that I've seen, books that I've read, and everything else in between. So stick around, let's get going. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. I post two videos a week, normally related around menswear, fashion, on Thursdays and on Sundays. So if you're feeling the vibe, actually, I'm not even going to say that today. Starting with the fashion favorites, I have four items to show you guys, and there would have been a lot more, but Unfortunately, I did a recent pickup video two weeks ago and so the first item is actually something that I've already shown you guys But it got a lot of questions and a lot of people were wondering where I got it from from my recent video that I did with Galax Joel huge shout out to my boy Thank you. Thank you for taking part in that video and thank you boys for the support It was such a good video such a good laugh. It's from Zara. It's a DIY So I did it myself. I just bleached it. I just distressed it. I'll leave a link to the card right here yeah, okay, it's gonna be at either side of this and this is the final result bought it in a size XL for that oversized feel fairly simple first item to show you guys I also wanted to give you guys a shout out and thank you for the support on the video with Galax next up we've got a proper high beast proper mate it's proper high beast and that is this supreme light pink overdyed beanie from their first drop got a little supreme box logo in the middle light pink overdyed I kind of bought it for myself ish but I knew that my girlfriend would love it so she can wear it I'll be wearing it now if you follow my Instagram which is right here s-a-n-g-i-e-v seamless plug here we go you would have seen that I picked up this pair of beautiful Balenciaga jeans from this current season washed black red stripe going along the side I got it in a size 30 so I stay true to size man they're just such a cool pair I posted a picture which you will see right here boom couple drop let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below a lot of the people said to cop it a lot of the people said you could do it yourself and it's true you could very easily do this yourself features a straight leg and initially it was super long I think it had like a ridiculous inseam I did shorten it and I tapered it ever so slightly now I know the attraction towards these pair of jeans is the fact that they're a straight leg however with jeans and straight leg for me that if they are straight leg they need to be very cropped if they are skinny then they need to be slightly long or just fitted right slimmed it down ever so slightly literally hold on if I just take it to the knee boom do you see that like probably an inch if that I think we brought it down to a seven inches leg opening and I normally have it at five and a half three eight five was the retail I believe on this so yeah, not too shabby, especially when you compare it to the likes of Saint Laurent. It's an in-between between SLP and Acne Studios. Speaking of Acne Studios, we've got a pair of black trousers. Now these are again from this current season and what should they retail for? 210, I want to say, or, or something like that. Amazing pair of black trousers man what a beautiful cut again it was kind of on the longer side so i did get it shortened i didn't get this one tapered so i kept it a fairly straight leg you've got an elasticated waistband with two strings that you could just use to tighten two pockets at either side two back pockets one featuring a flap with a button and the other one is called a welt pocket if worn quite high it looks like a cropped pair of trousers if worn quite low you've got that flowy very beautiful oversized trouser feel i just needed a clean slick pair of black trousers that I can wear on a day-to-day. -day. Acne Studios do some beautiful ones and I think everyone needs to own a pair of straight-legged black trousers. So that is that for my fashion pickups of this month. For my favorite book, I'm going to be talking about this guy right here. It is the bookseller of Kabul, written by Asne Seyerstadt. I don't know how you pronounce that surname, I'm so sorry if I butchered it, but let me just bring it down real close so then you can get an idea of it. A friend of mine got it for me. It's a true story, but also, I've, I don't know why, in the past two years, I've read a lot of books in regards to the Afghan wars and everything that's happened over there during either the Soviet 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 yeah either during the Soviet time or after during the whole like American things and this in particular focuses during the time period of the Taliban very fascinating stuff it's not a massive book so I definitely recommend it to anybody that might be interested it just takes a look at a life of a family that lives in Kabul during the time of the Taliban rise, their downfall, how they kind of adapt to it, their way of living. Now, I'm not saying that this is exactly how it happens. With any sort of books, you always have to kind of take them with a pinch of salt, even if it is an autobiography, even if it's supposed to be like based on real facts, this is 100% based on a on real story. But you know, if you're reading something and it makes you raise an eyebrow, Google it, search it, see if it's true. If it is, awesome, you've just learned something new. If it isn't, awesome, you just, 
You've just been lied to. Books I Love Kabul, definitely recommend it. It's an awesome read. Now, moving on to the music, it's easy for me to just tell you some songs to listen to. So what I'm instead of going to do is I'm going to make this whole thing blurry. I'm going to start a skanking in the background and then show you guys five to ten songs that I've been listening to heavily during this month. Let's go. Love for the taker. And what I need from them, no favors. Click to... Some people got the real problems. Some people... You're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size holes in my feet. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the beast. Thing thing called Madison. I tell her come and jump in my Addison Lee. Cause there's no... I go under... First day of the rest of my life hey, Stand behind the mic like Walter Cronkite Yo, keep Girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like And then last but certainly not the least, we've got the movie section. Now, I am a movie buff in the sense of I just enjoy movies. I'm not maybe a movie buff. I'm just a movie enthusiast. I love movies. I love going to the cinema. And so past month, obviously, was the Oscar season. So I kind of tried to catch up on all the Oscar movies. There's only one that I've yet to see and it's perhaps the most important one. Hopefully, I'll be seeing it at some point in this upcoming week. That is Moonlight. One best picture after quite a bit of a shamble. But either way, one best picture says so definitely one that I'm looking forward to seeing. I saw La La Land, I think I've already mentioned that to you. I saw Fences and I saw Hacksaw Ridge. Now out of the two, Hacksaw Ridge was easily my favorite. Let me just quickly talk about Fences though. Beautiful movie, it has Viola Davis, Denzel Washington, and it's about a story of a troubled relationship with a man basically. Uh, a father and his son, a man and his wife. Now, the reason why I enjoyed this movie, however, I wasn't like mind blown, I wasn't baffled. It's because it's based off a play. It was originally a play. And to me, that's under like I understood that from watching the movie that perhaps it should have been left as a play. And that's not a shot to the actors because I think they did a phenomenal I think they did a phenomenal job. I just think that movies are about telling a great story. A play is about telling or showcasing a great relationship between characters. When you watch plays, when you watch productions, theatre, you're so immersed in that world. Sure, a story is great and it's crucial, but what you're often pulled by is the relationships that the actors on stage have with themselves and with us, the audience. And I felt like that movie kind of portrayed that. It was heavily based on relationships. It didn't really have a great storyline. Great movie though, I still gave it a seven out of 10 in my little review with my boys. The movie that I did enjoy there was Hacksaw Ridge. Man, what a beautiful story. Story was great, cinematography was great. Just acting was so on point, like Andrew Garfield, fair play. I mean, I'll leave the trailers to both of the movies in the description box down below, so I won't talk about the movie too much, but it's just a soldier, American soldier during the Japanese war. And he basically didn't want to shoot anyone. He didn't want to kill anybody due to his conscious forward slash relationship with God. And so for that reason, he was just a medic that did not ever grab a gun, like ever hold a gun on in the main line, which is an incredible thing to do. And the fact that it's based on a true story makes it that much better. So yeah, definitely check out Hacksaw Ridge. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And that pretty much concludes this episode of Monthly Favorites. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this. As mentioned, I'm gonna be in Paris next week. Hopefully by the time this video goes live, I'll be en route to Paris in the Eurostar. If you'd like to show your support, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, share. We're now nearly at 22,000, man. That's absolutely incredible. So thank you ever so much to all of you guys. All my social media information will be right here. S-A-N-G-I-E-V, Sanjeev, that is my first name. Have a beautiful day. I shall see you on Sunday. Take care. Peace. <laughs>